Hawking was found by uh, World for All Animal Care and Adoptions. It's an NGO that uh, I've been working with for the past four years. Hawking came into our office by the rescue team on uh, the day Stephen Hawking died, hence the name. Literally, was this small, completely malnourished, skinny as hell. Not only was he paralyzed, but his entire upper body and his neck was twisted to one side. Someone made a comment saying that, you know, this kitten is probably not going to make it. I was like, you know what, I don't know how to do this, but I'm going to take him home. And even if he does pass away, I'm going to make sure that at least he's comfortable, at least he's fed, at least he's warm and he's in a safe environment if I take him home. So we brought him home and put, put the basket on the floor and opened it. and. And Hawking was in this completely contorted position. His head was somewhere, his arms were somewhere. And I didn't know at that time, but uh, he was having a seizure. And I had no idea. I assumed that it was just severe nerve damage which was causing him to do this. It was extremely scary. It was, it was just... Okay, go. Cool. He is this small little living thing in front of you. I think at that moment it was just instincts. It just they, it just kicked in and I was like, you know what, let's just feed him. That's the first thing we need to do with him. And we started giving him infant milk. The thing is, Hawking was so small, we kind of assumed his age to be a week and a half. Turns out he was much older than that. I called up a friend of mine. She saw a picture of him and she's like, Shaira, he's older. He needs to go on solid food. I immediately got kitten wet food, mashed it up completely and we started feeding him. You don't know whether he can swallow. I mean, what if he chokes? His neck was in such an odd way. Fortunately, he ate the whole thing. We had to give him water through a syringe because he could not drink on his own. He would wake up at 2 in the morning, 6 in the morning. Throughout the day, we would give him his food at regular intervals. I'd bundle him up, uh, you know, so that he would not get hurt in any way and I would take him wherever I went. The day after Hawking was rescued, obviously, uh, he had to go for a vet visit. He had massive bite marks on his neck. So clearly, another animal had picked him up by the neck, probably shook him a little, caused a bit of uh, nerve damage and flung him somewhere. He was barely responsive. Maybe if you gave him a little bit of food, he'd lift his head up a couple of centimeters. He couldn't walk. He was completely dependent on us at that time. About a week into uh, me fostering him, I took him to one of my events. That day was a pretty, pretty important day. That's when everything started going uphill. I was getting ready to feed him and Hawking was on the table. In front of him was a plate of food. And I look up and this little uh, thing has crawled to the plate, lifting his head and he started eating. Small little, little, little bites. It was so overwhelming at that moment because, you know, it was just a step towards saying like, hey, this is at least the most basic thing I can do. So let me do it. So I let him eat as much as he could when he got tired, I started feeding him then. Another thing that happened that day is we spread out a cloth for him and we're just sitting with him and he starts uh, grooming himself. It's pretty, it was, it's a very small thing that he did, but it's so important for cats because they love to keep themselves clean. He started licking this little tiny part of his toe over here. Uh, we decided to see whether he would respond, you know, a little bit more. So we, took a pair of keys and jangled it in front of him and this kitten like lifted one small paw and like tried to hit it. It was such a proud moment, like we didn't even do anything. It was great. From that day, uh, things just got better. He started realizing that he could do stuff. What I would do is every day for about half an hour, I would dedicate to hawking walking time. I would lay a cloth down on the floor, sit down next to him and I would just give him his own time, his own space to try and get up and start walking. Is really smart kitten. He would uh, dig his nails into the cloth and pull himself up and then he would stand like full tremors, full shaking. He would look so proud of himself and I would look so proud of him because even for a millisecond that he stood, it just meant how far he's come. In a matter of two, three minutes, he must have fallen 25 times. He would fall, get up, fall, get up, fall, get up and maybe on the eighth try, he would take a step. Because of Hawking's nerve damage, his back legs were the most affected. Even when he stood, he would shake. It was like as if an earthquake was under him. Uh, so about uh, three weeks into his recovery, uh, Hawking started to grow. He stopped looking so malnourished and so thin. His ribcage got covered a little bit by fat. The minute he started walking, uh, he started getting more and more independent. We didn't have to think six times before picking him up, cuddling him. Of course, the vet did recommend that he rest so that he doesn't damage anything further, but he seems to have a mind of his own. So, People can always tell you and teach you how to take care of a case like this, but I've realized at the end of the day, it just comes down to instincts. It's seeing the animal in this state and the first thing that comes into your mind 
about how to feed him or how to take care of him. It just, it comes naturally. Of course, the major attribute is the kind of knowledge that I've gained from World for All. Uh, the kind of cases that have come to us. The best is that the Instagram people who would follow his journey with me would constantly encourage not just me but encourage him and I feel like that all kind of came together and just helped him uh, recover you know. Hawking gave me hope when it should have been the other way around. Whatever state he was in and what he's come from it now there's no anger there's no behavioral problems there seems to be absolutely nothing wrong with him he is completely normal to us. It's most likely that the tremors will continue that he will not be able to fend for himself or will not be able to become as strong uh, as any other cat. But that's what makes um, Hawking such a special cat. That's what makes him so different and that's what makes him so perfect. And he's totally passed out and he's missed the whole thing. <laughs> oh, he's up. No, he's not. He's trying to get comfortable on a tiny lap.